Yeah, welcome here to Clarion High School. Chris Rossetti from D9Sports.com and Explore Clarion. Uh, we're going to do one of our sit-down interviews with the Clarion uh, High School volleyball team, semi-finalist in the state. Uh, I've got with us across, across from me, we have Ariana Gervin. Next to her, Jordan Best, Peyton Simcoe, KK Gervin, Kate Constantino, Maddie Schill, Kate Byrne. <laughs> Corinne Burns, you'd think I'd know after all this time that it's not Kate Burns, but hey, you know, this is the, we're, we're going to leave that on just because, hey, we can have a blooper reel as we do our, our, our video too. So Corinne Burns, <laughs> Corinne, I, I really do know who you are. <laughs> and then Brenna Campbell, and uh, so off to a rip-roaring start already, guys. Um, we're just going to sit down. Some of you have done this before. Some of you are new to this, but uh, we just kind of have a conversation about your season. Some of what you remember, some of what you had most the most fun about. Some of it can be on court stuff. Some of it can be kind of behind the scenes stuff. Let's just start with, has it sunk in? I, I mean, I know, you know, sometimes you can put so much pressure on yourself to, to be perfect. Has it sunk in yet that, you know, there aren't very many teams that reach the state semifinals and especially not from small towns like Clarion and that's something to be proud of? Yeah, I mean, every day at practice, we knew that we were one of the last couple teams that were left playing during that time. So we were really proud of that. Um, when you look at the season and, and you know, for people that don't know, Volleyball is pretty much a year-round endeavor for you guys. Um, how tough is it when the season ends? You, you know, win or lose. I mean, obviously only one team, one team, six teams total, go out with a victory in, in the playoffs. But you know, just when, when you live this game day in and day out, um, you know, have you guys kind of recovered from from not playing volleyball yet? I, I mean, I know some of you are playing basketball, some of you aren't. But uh, how, how does that go? It's more like a lifestyle. Like you just. Don't get over it. Like, yeah, it's sad, but like, we're on a new things. Um, if I had to, uh, in, in, you know, let's go around the table. If, if I had to ask you guys, what's your one best memory from the season, Brenna? Oh gosh, um, like, it's always enjoyable every day. But just like, I think winning, probably our state quarterfinal game was pretty. That was pretty fun. That was a pretty good game. I think, yeah, like, the moments, like, when you come down from, like, a kill and you see all your feet, through, like, your teammates' expressions, it's, like, really awesome. So I can't, like, we, we saw some great photos of those. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for me, it was definitely the Bishop Carroll game. That was the best game I think we played together. So, yeah, that that's, was my favorite game. And also our pregame. Uh, Celebration that we do, we kind of go in and. What work. do you guys do in the pregame? Um, well, normally if the locker room has a shower, we go in there. <laughs> <laughs> we turn off the lights. <laughs> <laughs> Someone has the lights, which is not. It gets us ready. Um, I'd probably say the Bishop Carroll game. Like, I know I didn't play, but, like, kind of just, like, watching it all happen, like, being, like, knowing my team's got this and just kind of watching it all happen. Experience. I mean, a fun memory for me was our team bonding before the season. That was really fun. At the lake, that's always fun. Uh, for me, it was definitely the Bishop Carroll game, and like just watching how the team grew throughout the season was pretty fun. Yeah, for me, it was the Bishop Carroll game too. <laughs> but let's talk a little bit about that. You know, you guys find out that you know KK isn't going to be able to play, and you it, it seemed like you guys really came together, and you know. I, when you guys saw what Ariana did, it, you know, kind of picking up her sister, even though they're playing different positions and, and coming out with 12 kills and that, and but just really the team as a whole, is that, do you guys feel that's like a memory? It sounds like that's going to be a memory you guys have for the rest of your lives. Yeah, we we just wanted to play for each other and like not only KK, but we wanted to play for each and every one of us. We didn't want it to be a last game for us, so we played like it was our last game. When you go into a season with really high expectations, um, and you guys went in with obviously really high expectations, do you feel any extra pressure like when you get to the district playoffs or anything like that to, to win, to, to show that you're as good as everybody said you were? I think that it's a standard that we hold to ourselves. And I mean, there is pressure, but I think we enjoy having it, an expectation of ourselves. So I mean, 
Um, if you had time to reflect on on really the run through the playoffs, um, you know, up until you you lost to Northern Cambria, you guys didn't drop a set. Um, that's that's hard to fathom. I mean, even Northern Cambria lost sets along the way, um, and, and they won a state title. You guys went six playoff games without dropping a set. If you had a chance to reflect on that, how, how dominating you guys really were during this run? I mean, like, yeah, it's like awesome that we did that, but I guess like, we just needed to finish the job. I mean, in the end, it's really like we have to stay. Uh, that being that being the the feeling for those of you coming, obviously the, the seniors don't get that opportunity again, unfortunately. But for those of you coming back, how much more motivation? How much harder do you think it's going to push you guys to work in the off season? We're definitely going to work a lot harder now because we know that we've gone this far now, so we know we can do it again. Um, you know, talk about the seniors and what they meant to you guys. Uh, you know, I guess a question for the underclassmen, and we'll, we'll flip that onto the seniors in a moment. Um, you know, because whenever I was a freshman, I didn't really have a really good relationship with the seniors, but now that I'm like a junior, and they're like some of my like closest friends, it's like kind of sad to see them go. It's very sad to see them. Seniors, talk about the underclassmen and, and you know what they've meant to your careers and in, in helping you guys achieve what you achieved. And again, I know that it's a little bit of a disappointment that you guys didn't get to get that one more match. But at the same time, again, very few teams reached the level that you that you reached. What did it mean to to watch the underclassmen develop in the time that you were in the gym? I thought it was cool to see you all grow. Like Ariana this year, I never played with you before, and you just stepped it up. And then Brenna, she's been my setter ever since I was a freshman when I started. So we wrote it out together. <laughs> and then Corinne. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we know about Corinne. <laughs> and then how Jordy stepped it up, like we all just did our job. And I was really proud of our team. Yeah, I think we're all really close with them. And that's something different that we didn't have last year. And it's going to be hard because we're so close to them. Yeah, like, I've been with all of you for, like, a really long time, especially <laughs> uh, But, like, they really did step it up this year. Like, Jordan completely took it over and was just the best libero I could ever ask for to play with them. Thanks, Kate. <laughs> <laughs> Kate and Ariana, you know, the opportunity to play with each other um, for a season, what was that like for you guys? I think we got along better on the court than we do off the court. <laughs> <laughs> but I honestly would never like change it. Like I am really grateful to have my senior year with my sister. Kate, were you able to like kind of talk to KK anything like what it was like to play? Cause you had that opportunity before to play with your older sister, Alexis. Yeah, she helped me a lot through the way, but I also knew if I messed up that I needed to come back because <laughs> I knew she would be hard on me, but she was very supportive. Now, Brenna, I know your mom's standing behind the camera, but what's it like to play for your mom? And, uh, you know, I mean, you, you've kind of, you know, you've been in the gym since the since before you could walk, really. Um, what, what's it been like the, the last three years to play for your mom? And, and, and do you feel like maybe she's a little harder on you than some of the other ones? I mean, maybe, but, you know, <laughs> she does a pretty good job of not treating me differently the rest of the time. Um, <laughs> But, um, I know I put you on the spot a little bit here. You can you can yell at me after the video's over. But um, I've always wanted to play for this high school team, and I just I love it so much. So I'm just happy I can play for her. Um, when you think up back to the back to the district, <laughs> as, as Coach Campbell's over there wiping tears from her eyes, <laughs> we can bring you on on camera here, Coach. <laughs> 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 um, when you guys go back to the district championship match against Elk, uh, you, you know, you knew they had a really good hitter in uh, Taylor Newton, um, and you guys were able to really neutralize her. And what was it like winning that district title? I know a lot of you had that experience last year, but, you know, Ariana, that was your first title. And for some of you, you also know what it's like not to win titles. So what was that like to win the district championship? We knew that was an important step in our journey. 
to get that title, and it was a really important game for us to shut her down. It was one of those games that it was fun, that we all played well together, and it was one of those games that we could remember because it was just fun playing together. What are some of the memories that you guys have that maybe aren't on the court memories, but just some of the memories that you have that, that go that, that you're gonna take with you? <laughs> Jumping off the rock was maybe the best memory of my entire life. <laughs> Not just in volleyball, but it was so fun. I know you can go. Okay. I know before games Maddie and I always jam to music, so we're gonna miss that. Mine's not really playing with games, but like the day I came back from the hospital, I surprised them all, <laughs> and they all like completely tackled me, and then that was the day I got cleared, so I surprised them, and that was definitely the best memory I had all season, with like the reaction. I think coming up with nicknames for everyone was really fun, like when everyone found out that KK called me Nan, that was my <laughs> new name. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> we got Nan Banan. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I know, like, you know, obviously I had the opportunity along with Mike Kalinowski to broadcast a lot of your games. I'm still gonna I'm still gonna hold Maddie to the kill by shell sub at some point. Um, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> But that, that was just kind of the, the fun that we had as announcers. I, I don't know if you girls realize that, you know, when when you get an opportunity and to, to cover a team that goes to the state semifinals, you know, you're professional. You're, you're, you're calling things as they happen. You're writing things as they happen. You're trying not to favor a team one way or the other, but it, it's a fun ride, whether it was you guys here, whether it was Dubois Central or Cranberry in softball last year or – dating myself back when El County Catholic won a state title or Dubois Central went to the state title game. It's a lot of fun. And I don't know if you realize the fun that it puts in the community. I mean, you guys had a lot of community support the deeper you got. Did, did you realize how you guys can uplift a community with the way that you're playing? I think that's another thing with us. Like, we really don't just play for ourselves. Like, we play for, like, everyone in this town, like, this school. Like, we don't just try and win for ourselves, like it's a win for everyone for us. We have the name of Clarion in our jerseys, not our, like, not our last names. It was definitely an eye-opener for me. Like, when I walk around in town, like, I went into McDonald's one day and somebody was like, hey, you're having a good season, like, Like over 2,000 listeners. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. that was crazy. So. Yeah, it's 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 amazing to, to see the the support, especially as the year went on. You know, and, and I got to see those numbers every day, but you know, it really did mean a lot to a lot of people. And um, you know, again, I don't know if you girls always, you know, you're in the moment sometimes. And and, and, and I know after you guys lost, there was that disappointment of, hey, we thought we could have won this game and moved on, but. You know, for a town like Clarion, for you guys to get to the semifinals is a is a really big deal. When when you look, if if and we'll wrap up with this, but like twenty years from now, you know, maybe you guys all come back and you're all at Autumn Leaf Festival or something. And you run into each other. What's the one thing that you may say about? Hey, do you remember back in two thousand and nineteen? <laughs> Put them on the spot here a little bit. <laughs> I think it was probably our chemistry was the most thing that we had this year. And it was always a fun time during practicing. There was never a time where it was like bad. I think our energy was a lot of how much fun we had this year. Peyton? <laughs> Peyton's been quiet. We're gonna we're gonna put her on the spot here a little bit. Oh, um, I mean, I guess what Caitlin and Ariana said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, ladies. <laughs> Well, ladies, I, I really appreciate you taking a little bit of your time today to, to sit down. Um, I, I know you're all just laughing a little bit, but uh, you, you you know, th this is an opportunity to let people kind of inside the, the doors a little bit and, and see who you guys really are. And 
Um, I, I really enjoyed doing these, and so I really appreciate you guys taking the time to do it with me. We appreciate you too. <laughs> <laughs> well, I appreciate that. And, um, thank you again, and uh, for those that are seniors, good luck with uh, your future endeavors and those coming back next year. Uh, can't wait for the volleyball season to start in 2020. Hey, Jess, you're on 20. <laughs>